G'day Ziggy D here and I pretty much just finished watching E3 and Sony's explanation of their console in terms of features was basically we aren't doing anything the Xbox One is doing. GG. Sony wins E3. Uh, we've got no always online, no check-ins, and they're supporting used games fully. They even just released a uh, a short video saying how you share used or how you share used games on uh, the Sony PlayStation 4, and it was basically a guy giving a game to another guy just by hand. So, uh, pretty pretty good stuff. Pretty funny. Uh, massive shots fired. Uh, uh, there, there was one minor blemish on the Sony that they're um, they're changing PS Plus to be uh, behind a paywall. It was like five dollars or something, uh, and there was some mention of multiplayer elements being connected to that. Uh, I'll throw up an image on screen that seems to confirm that. There's a little note there saying that uh, a multiplayer subscription is required, but. Nonetheless, this is still worlds ahead of, of the Xbox's, uh, Xbox Live and the uh, the payment for it and all of the other Xbox features that have just been shown. I mean, just for a bit of backstory, uh, I originally switched over from the PlayStation 2 to the Xbox 360 instead of getting a PlayStation 3 because at the time it seemed like the Xbox was the, the best console for someone who just wanted to game, who was serious about gaming. I mean, Sony has the most to, game from make, uh, to gain from making like a media service platform. I mean, like, Sony is so heavily into, uh, you know, TVs and DVD players and all of the other entertainment uh, hardware and stuff. And then, uh, and then this time, we've got Xbox, Microsoft, you know, really trying to make the Xbox One this, this non-gaming system and putting all of these arbitrary restrictions on it and invasions of privacy and all of this terrible stuff. And I was actually thinking that Sony was going to come out and announce all of the same shit. And I was pretty much ready to make a video saying, welcome to PC gaming. Uh, console gamers as everyone left the console market you know everyone who cared about that sort of thing left the console market but Sony's come out and uh, with the almost fairly obviously uh, hastily edited PowerPoint uh, slides in into splice between pretty much back-to-back -back gameplay footage they've said you know uh, everything the Xbox is doing, we're not doing, and then they've uh, shown off all this uh, awesome stuff, and then at the end, they've pretty much come out and said, uh, PlayStation 4 price, $399 US, compared to $499 from the Xbox One. GG! Again, <laughs> Sony wins E3, PlayStation 4 is gonna, is gonna happen. And uh, I was thinking about not getting any console, but... Uh, maybe, maybe, after seeing some of the exclusives and some of the games that are coming out as well, maybe one day, for me, a PlayStation 4 might be on the cards. Uh, the only other thing I was a little bit disappointed about was Ustream being announced as the streaming service for PlayStation 4. Uh, Xbox announced Twitch, which, uh, as a YouTuber myself and someone who's probably going to start streaming pretty soon once I get a new PC, uh, Twitch is like the primary service anyone would go to. Such a large audience base already, uh, it would pretty much be suicide to go to Ustream, like, you know, media suicide for someone like me to start up on Ustream instead of on Twitch. However, PlayStation maybe has enough force behind it to get Ustream to actually be a decent streaming service. And competition is always good, so if Ustream and Twitch become two major competitive streaming services, then that won't be a bad thing in the end. But, you know, I wish I wish Sony uh, went through Twitch anyway, because yeah, that and the, the small subscription for uh, PS Plus are like the only blemishes on otherwise a super knockdown, uh, shots fired, GG, <laughs> all that good stuff uh, presentation from Sony. It was pretty insane. So let's jump into some of the games I saw and uh, I'll talk a, bit, a little bit about those. But I'm sure if any of you guys are interested, you'll go check out the uh, various trailers and some of the awesome videos from uh, the various top-notch YouTubers, Total Biscuit and... Uh, force, I, rec I recommend there's two people to definitely check out. Anyway, first up, uh, we saw some awesome looking Final Fantasy 15 actually, uh, footage. It was kind of a mixture of gameplay and cinematic footage. It's kind of hard to tell with Final Fantasy games this time, because the actual gameplay can look a bit like a cinematic sometimes. So it looked awesome. <laughs> it also had this Final uh, Fantasy 8 aesthetic, so much uh, much sort of darker, and with a lot of those like European sort of themes that you saw in Final Fantasy 8, and a little bit in Final Fantasy 9 as well, which is really, really cool. I'm happy to, for them to move away as much as possible from the uh, Final Fantasy 13 sort of happy-go-lucky vibe and uh, Final Fantasy 10 was also a bit like that although I was a big fan of Final Fantasy 10 as well but nonetheless it looks pretty awesome uh, not 100% certain whether that's a PS4 exclusive it wasn't mentioned whether or not it would be just that it would be coming to the PS4 so might not be an exclusive but I'll list that in the exclusives for now uh, we've also got Kingdom Hearts 3 coming, which is pretty good. Uh, I enjoyed the first Kingdom Hearts game. If I get a PS4, maybe one I'll pick up. Uh, Infamous, there's a new IP called The Order, and we've got another game called The Witness. Uh, 
On top of that, we've got lots of indie love coming from the PlayStation 4, which is really good because the Xbox One, uh, in terms of indie gaming, really seemed to not be supporting them at all, uh, putting a lot more restrictions on them, in line with the theme of their um, Microsoft's entire earlier presentation. So that's pretty good. And an Oddworld remake. Awesome. I saw it and I'm like, oh, wow, this looks like the original Oddworld. That'd be awesome. And then it was a remake. I'm like, oh, cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Other games we've got is uh, the Elder Scrolls Online MMO uh, will have a PS4 exclusive beta, so uh, that'd be pretty cool. And that also gives us a good time frame for the beta for Elder Scrolls Online as well. Uh, I'm a little bit skeptical whether the Elder Scrolls is actually going to be any good or not, but uh, that's, that's something, something to look forward to. I'm a big fan of the uh, Elder Scrolls games, obviously, so Elder Scrolls Online, you know, maybe, hopefully, I'm hoping it's good, but we'll see. Uh, otherwise, we've got uh, Destiny, which seems to be like some sort of Borderlands MMO with, uh, it's made by Bungie or something like that. Uh, basically, it's class-based, it's got some magic abilities combined with guns and grenades and all that good jazz. Uh, it's heavily loot-driven, uh, and it features co-op multiplayer with large uh, teams. So it seems to be a lot like an MMO, because they announced like, oh, it's a world event, and they're doing all this co-op thing and stuff like that. It looks cool. It looks cool. I uh, kind of had this like washed out sound in the presentation a bit, but I think they were trying to really focus on the uh, the cult gameplay. But uh, nonetheless, this was really exciting to watch. Uh, it was the most one-sided sort of gaming presentation event like this I've ever seen. Uh, usually they're fairly close and it's hard to decide or there's not much difference. Like, although I opted for the Xbox 360 over the PS3 for reasons I mentioned earlier, uh, there wasn't that much difference between the two consoles at the time. Uh, and it's been that's been the case I think through most presentations. But this is the most one-sided thing I've ever seen. Like uh, so much bad stuff going on for the Xbox One and then PS. You know they had the advantage of being able to see Xboxes and Microsoft's mistakes and to be able to correct on that. And I wonder if they altered things like the price uh, after it. But uh, I, I don't know. But either way, very aggressive GG marketing and uh, it should be very <laughs> very good time for. Uh, the PlayStation 4 and you know maybe Microsoft will come out and change some of their plans about the console but we'll see we'll see uh, nonetheless very exciting um, look forward to uh, seeing all the different types of coverage and things like that I just wanted to get this video uh, out for you guys to give you my first impressions on the event pretty fun stuff seeing my Twitter explode and uh, watching the stream and all that good stuff anyway that's it for now I'm Ziggy D and thanks for watching